Hello Superherd and welcome to Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. When rumor was made reality, the internet did not know how to handle this. I didn't know how to handle it. Mario and Rabbids is a really weird combo and the game itself is something I didn't think a Mario game would touch on. This looks really fun though. It is launch day as of recording this. Hopefully it's launch day as of uploading it. You guys can let me know your hype for Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle in the comment section below. But my goal will be to play through and enjoy this game along with you guys. So if you're excited, like I said, let me know. But I don't really have too much to say other than let's get into it because I am really gosh darn curious. Let's get started with Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Oh, what's happening? This person has an NES rug. Uh, okay, so this person's a very big Mario fan. And they're working on like a VR headset. Wait, what, is this like the narrative of the game? Is it gonna be like Mario 2 where it's all a dream instead it's this person's VR experience? What? All oh. right, Beepo. That ought to fix the overheating problem. Oh. Oh, you're cute. Can you believe it's been three months since Tech Magazine put me? Oh. Okay, us on the cover. So I guess that's the person we're the seeing through their perspective. Item a and item B and combines them to create item C. Oh, if only it were that easy. The article says nothing about dark matter, space-time manipulation, practical applications, nothing. Nothing. Wait, wait, the super merge could solve the energy crisis, Beepo. Watch. Ener wait, wait, is this Overwatch now? <laughs> What is going on? I am so confused. Wait, what? Whoa. Huh? Oh, not again. Oh, I'm sorry, Beepo. Let's take a break and come back at this overheating thing fresh, okay? Oh, interesting. But what does this have to do with... I am so confused. Hi, Beepo. You're cute. Oh, Beepo's gone. Um. Uh... Okay, hold on, no, wait, what's happening? Okay, laundry. Oh no. Oh no. What are they doing? Why are they in a drying machine? Oh, come on, what, what are they? Oh, now they have the VR machine. Oh, Beepo's mad. Get him, Beepo. <laughs> I think somehow they made an interdimensional drying machine that's spawning in rabbits into their dimension. Which I can only imagine is supposed to be representative of our dimension, the real dimension. This is such a cool Mario room, though. I like the pipes on the top. Uh, they seem to like it, too. Um. Oh, no. No, this is how it happens. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's a balloon rabbit. This is ridiculous. So, now there's a Mario rabbit. That's, that looks like the sunflower from Plants vs. Zombies. Uh. Okay. Oh, are they going back in time now? Oh gosh, they're stuck them all back in. Where are they gonna go now? How do they get into this kind of trouble? Like all the time, rabbits are always like this. Oh boy, that's how it happens. So now they're going to the Mushroom Kingdom. Oh no, did it take Beepo though? Oh, well, we're about to find out. Oh, I see all four of our, our friends here. Mario, Luigi, Peach, and uh, Yoshi. What are they unveiling? Oh, a giant statue. Uh-oh. Well, like any celebration in the Mushroom Kingdom, it won't go very well. Oh, gosh. This is like Mario Galaxy all over again. Luigi, we'll save you, buddy. No, never mind. Oh, gosh, not Princess Peach, too. Oh, gosh. This went bad really quickly. Like, no time for any kind of exposition for Mario. He's just like, all your friends are in a vortex now. Goodbye! Oh, geez. So where are we going now? Weren't we already in the Mushroom Kingdom? Where are we heading now? I thought we were supposed to stay in the Mushroom Kingdom. <laughs> the guy was taking a, a little bit of a toilet break. Wait, what did, it, what did the Beepo say? I didn't see. I didn't expect the Beepo to talk. Uh... Oh gosh, this is probably the main bad guy, right? If he has the VR headset, he can control everything. Oh geez, and he's also not very uh, well-minded right now. Well, I hope you're happy. I like the guy in the little bike in the background. That was cute. Oh, oh, 
Oh, he's adorable. Hi. Oh, you can't get it off now. It's a part of you. Oh, oh, that hurt. No, the evil rabbits are taking him. You get back here. Oh, no. No, 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 no. They're crashing. Oh, I was gonna become a paintbrush. Uh, <laughs> sort of. <laughs> what in the world is happening? Oh no! So they definitely are in the Mushroom Kingdom then, right? This doesn't look like it. Stop that! I love that Beepo could talk and he has little bunny ears. He's so cute. I mean, I guess, oh maybe he was combined with a rabbit too? That's why he has the ears now? Oh no, watch out! Don't get hit by the launching machine of doom! This is a really long cutscene. I think the, the the switch almost went to sleep there. That's why I went gray for a second. Mario and Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. That was an interesting title sequence, but we're not quite done. Like that's seriously what happened though. The switch almost fell asleep. Hey, Mario sticks to landing with Beepo. Yeah. Um. Hi. This is definitely not the Mushroom Kingdom, by the way. So we got Rabbit Luigi and Rabbit Peach. Mario and Beepum. Oh gosh, look at these guys. <laughs> you think Mario treats Goombas badly? Oh no, they're getting them all goopy. The same Splatoon? Oh no. What are they doing? The poor Goombas. I think they'd rather just be stomped on. But hey, we have our valiant heroes here to defend. Um. And our valiant villains? I guess? Hard to say. <laughs> Ziggy, dashing ne'er do wells. Interesting, so it's like Iggy, but not really. Iggy is his own. I wonder if the uh, Koopalings will show up. Okay, continue. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> the rabbits are always having fun, aren't they? Those rabbits, they seem driven to cause chaos and mayhem, more so than usual, even. What about the rabbits we have on our side, then? Unlike our two friends here, they seem to have been corrupted by that rabbit wearing the super merge headset. Could it be that the Super Merge headset is cor was corrupted on its way to this world? If so, we're all in terrible danger. Mario, we must find that way. How do you know who Mario is? Oh, because her owner is like a Mario fanatic. That makes sense. Mario, we must find that poor rabbit fused to the headset. He is the key, save him. We might just save this world. Whatever world we're in, okay. So what the weird thing is, is that while this is indeed a Mario game, you do not control Mario in this overworld. Instead, you control Beepa, who leads the charge. Can I talk to you guys? Uh, poor Goomba. A shocking, though admittedly hilarious, example of the chaos wrought by the intrusion of our world into this one. Our world into this one. Does that mean that they were the rabbits were supposed to be a part of the world that we saw in the beginning? This is such a wacky world, though. Um, it's like, it definitely is a weird mix between some kind of rabbit's world and Mario, because we could see the Mario pipes, but we definitely see like flora and fauna that we would never normally see in a Mario game. These cubicle trees, these weird cylindrical uh, flowers, almost reminds me of Rayman, which I wish he would make an appearance. So where are we now? Up! Oh, oh no. Mario, protect your hat. That's the only thing you have sometimes. You need that for the next game. <laughs> you don't want to get rid of that now. So who's shooting at us? Hello? Oh, okay, it's that guy. Oh, it's the Ziggy. Help, oh no, hit me. I can't get clear. Oh gosh, poor uh, Beepo. Thank you so much. Oh, oh, hey, look, we got some letters. Well, what is our mail? How did we get mail? Oh, what is it? What is it now? Oh, I've just received the message. From FB to Beepo, dearest Beepo, whose bravery, intelligence, and compassion stands uh, stand as a beacon of hope for us all. If my timing is correct, you are in dire need of help. Please open this attachment to this message. Their receipt is most auspicious, I assure you. Signed, your biggest fan? Wait, what? Oh, cool. Yeah, oh. What, a, what, oh, they got a yo-yo. She's got like a pink blaster. Whoa, that's cool. But I'm, I'm still confused. Mario just seems to be taking it. You know, he's just like, awesome, let's go. But I am blown away with all my confusion right now. And wow, when the email said attachments, I thought it was talking like about cat videos or something. So, are you guys ready to fight pack? Learn the basics, okay. 
Well, we got some Ziggies to take out. Careful now, my sensors detect two enemies on the battlefield. Uh, One is hiding behind partial cover, so your chance to hit is 50% interesting. The other is out in the open, giving you a 100% chance to hit. You can cycle through targets with the left stick, press A to shoot the selected target. So this is a strategy game. This ain't your typical Mario Galaxy, Super Mario World run and jump game. This is a full on XCOM style strategy game. So now we're playing as Ouija, huh? Um, I guess so, boom. So we get to play as all three characters, all the characters in our party. This isn't Mario RPG, this ain't Paper Mario, they ain't Mario and Luigi, but we are playing Mario and Luigi later next month, I think, or the month after, sort of. But this is its own beast. And it's apparently really difficult from everybody I've heard from. I've been trying to avoid spoilers, but battle cleared. We got a perfect score for an obvious reason. Okay. Uh, so we didn't miss anything. I wanna see, cause there's coins all over the place it seems. I wanna make sure I get every single one of them. The colors are so gosh darn bright. Learn the basics. Hmm. So now both of them are hiding. Cowards, now they're all behind full cover. We have 0% chance of hitting them from here. We'll, we'll only hit their cover. We'll need to flank them, move around with the left stick and position yourself a shot with 100% chance of hitting. Interesting, so if I keep moving around, right? Could I, like right now, yeah, you can sort of see it changing, right? Like if I, over their heads, like 0%, 100%. So if I stand here, not only will I have 100% cover, I mean 100% chance of hitting, but also 50% chance of blocking. So do I also, wow, interesting. So I can also hide and shoot. Hmm, there's a lot of information on the screen. I can switch hero at any point in time. Um, I can't hop up here, but that would be cool. So I can get you here, and then, oh my, and then to shoot you. Bada boom, and that'll take you out, right? Yeah, very well, cool. Is there experience? Will each character level up? Um, CL and CR. So, I can't shoot anybody right now, but it looks like we get both a movement and a shooting opportunity. But maybe I could just hide for like some cover here. I don't know what I wanna do against this character. So let's just do 100% cover. This person might move though, is the thing. Oh, but I could try to shoot. Um, enemy turn, how do I do that? Do you wish to pass the turn to the enemies? Yes, because I think that's what's gonna happen anyways. Enemies, so what are you gonna do? You're gonna move over there. And... Oh no, you're gonna shoot Luigi, don't do it. No, rabbit Luigi, Ah, oh, 30 damage. Okay, so now it's our turn. Um, We might as well, so I get to play as Peach again, or rabbit Peach. I can just walk up right in your face and just bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> That must have hurt, right? Okay, so this guy's also a little bit different. I don't know if he still counts as a Ziggy. I don't know why I can go all the way around here, but not all the way around the other way, but hopefully Mario can hit him strong enough to finish him off. Looks like it. Yep, okay, good stuff. So we're doing pretty good. I mean, we've taken one shot, so not a perfect battle that time, but we'll survive. Um, Turns two out of four. I guess there's a maximum amount of turns you can take there. Maybe you'll lose if you mess up. I don't know. But, oh, look at this, so we got 100 coins for completing level one, I guess? Interesting, so it says we perfected everything, I guess maybe because nobody got taken out, I'm not really sure how that works. But it says we get everything perfect, so cool, we get a couple hundred coins for it. Fun stuff, there's a lot of information it throws at you once, so that I guess it's gonna take me time to figure out, but of course, if you know anything, let me know. Oh, what is happening here? I recognize those blocks from the basement. I hope they're more structurally sound after the super merge, but I doubt it. Oh, so it looks like the basement was turned into whatever this thing is. Okay. Uh, Where are we going then? I could run this way. I could also turn the camera on. Oh, what have I found? I have found a leafy world. You found a new item. If only there were somewhere you could check it out. There probably is. Uh, Can I pause the game? Okay, that's not where I can check it. Maybe I can't check it right now, but I'll be able to check it later. Either way, can I talk to this rock? This rock looks like something interactable. It is not. Okay. <laughs> uh, what's happening now? Also, the graphics in this game are very weird. Like, they're good looking, but they're not like crazy good looking. Like, the art style itself is really nice. Oh my. There's a portal that suck up, sucked up uh, Peach and all of her friends. Uh, there, in the sky, see that? It began the moment the rabbits teleported into the Mushroom Kingdom. 
Hmm, the energy we've been, seen floating upwards after we defeat an enemy, I wonder. All the more reason to catch that rabbit with the Super Merge headset. He's the key to stopping this, I'm sure of it. It's so cool that we're playing a new Mario game, by the way. Oh, it's so cool. Okay, well, what are we doing now? I think this is actually my first time playing like a brand new Mario game as your releases. I can't go in there for some reason, but there is. Okay, oh, look at this, red coins. Okay, there's one, two, three. There's gonna be seven or eight, probably eight. Six, seven. Hey, so what did that get me? I got me another chest, so this one's a golden one. It has, oh wait, open up. Ooh, whoa, okay. I don't know what that is. <laughs> it is the Rumble Bee. Oh, it's a new weapon. You found a new weapon, if only there was somewhere you could check it out. If only, right? Okay, so we got ourselves our first new weapon. Don't quite know how to do anything about it. Oh, but there is stuff here. There is stuff to explore here. So obviously the overworld is a big component to this game. It's not just a matter of, uh, maybe there's like a jump button I'm ignoring? I don't know. Cause I can't get into those areas. Grand opening, you found a new item, blah, blah, blah. So grand, no, that looked like a song almost? Interesting, so maybe we could get music. Oh wait, maybe we can go through this as a pipe? Oh wait, you see that? Hmm, there's sunblocks here, but there's clearly pipes we can go through. We need to find the pipe that works, and maybe it's down here. Wait a minute. What is this? Oh, here we go. Just took us a little bit of searching around, but we have found something. So now these weird looking rabbit pipes are available. And I love how they truly combined everything with Mario and rabbits together. Such a weird combo of characters, but it's so cool to see not, nonetheless. So there's not too much going on around here, but what I can do is hit this. It'll get rid of these red star blocks. But yeah, I've never played like a mainline, I guess this would be considered mainline Mario, right? I haven't played a brand new mainline Mario game on the channel as it was new. Like the, the only thing I've done is like Mario Kart, but I've never played like Mario Galaxy or anything as it was new. You found a new item, whatever it is. Uh, okay, and that's all that's here. So whenever we get the chance to use these items, whatever they are, we're gonna have a good old time because we can have a bunch of them to experience. So there's that done. We found a little extra something, something there. But not quite all we wanna do, huh? Where is this one gonna lead? Hopefully right here, cause that means we'll be able to rid ourselves of these moon blocks. And that'd be helpful. So do that. Oh, and we get some extra coins for it too. I love our little entourage of characters. I can't wait until we do run into our Mario pals. You know, Yoshi, I'm really curious about because I haven't heard too much about Yoshi in this game. I just know he's been in the, the art of the game itself, so that'll be fun. But either way, we get ourselves another weird item. This one is Garden Ziggy. What are these things? I don't know. Now, have we gotten everything? No. Hmm, how do I get in here? This one I don't even see an entrance for. I don't see any kind of block that we could get around in any way. But it's just a bunch of coins, so if we can't get to it, I guess it's not the end of the world? Which is really weird to me. Maybe this like green hose almost it looks like? Maybe that leads somewhere. How can I get into a hose like that though? Mario doesn't seem to fit. And it just sort of ends somewhere. I don't know, that one's weird. Maybe we can enter that one later, but what is this? Oh, is this a cannon? Oh, I think it's a cannon. Will this launch us over there? Yes, it will. There you go. Question answered. We have almost 500 coins already. I don't know if that's a lot or a little, but I hope we're doing good. And of course, let me know in the comment section. Do you have Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle? What is your thought on this game so far? I would love to hear it. And of course, if I end up being awful at it, which I most likely will, uh, you can always let me know some uh, tips and tricks in the comment section if you're learning more about it. But it looks like we're going into level two. It looks like the sunflower. Greetings, sweet golden perennial of the prairie. We are, uh, blah, <laughs> ew. Why did you do that? Hmph, after that strange creature with the headset got here, those guys have been nothing but bad news. Sorry, Rabbit Luigi, you're bad news. I assure you, I assure you, these rabbits are not like their colleagues. Oh, well, if you can stop him, I'll happily reward you. He's zapping my, his brethren left and right, turns them real nasty. I don't suppose you you would come to, with us for or us to help. Uh, sorry, folks, but it's times this flower took things underground. All right, see you, Sunflower. Hope to see you hanging out with the pea shooter. Uh, let's pick up more coins. Oh, wait, I missed one. So, I guess there really is still world-based stuff going on. We completed world 1-1, I guess? 
What about Yoon? Um, hmm, I have multiple ways to go here. This actually, oh, you see the, the little flags? That means this is a battle right here. So if we go that way, we you know we might run into some action. It's broken for now, though considering the da how dangerous it is, I have a hard time believing the rabbits won't fix it. Okay, maybe they'll fix it after we go in here. Oh gosh, it's another Ziggy. Hello. Oh gosh, he's coming for us, watch out. Oh, oh no, Beepo. Oh, poor Beepo. Oh, he's got another letter though. Dear Beepo, who's the FB? Friendly Bowser, maybe. Maybe Bowser's been turned friendly through the thing, I don't know. Uh, Dear Beepo, if one is to prevail, one must practice. Please sharpen your movement skills so you can turn the tables on those rascally rabbits. I've just uploaded a few suggestions to help you guide your team in the next battle. Quick, signed, your biggest fan. Our BF stands for biggest fan. Okay, so there's an easy mode now. Can I change that? I'll restore your team's HP and get 50% extra health? No. Uh, I think we'll, we'll rock it out with the more difficult mode for now, but if it seems like we have a hard time, I'm not you know, ashamed of going on easy mode. You can deal damage while on the move by performing a dash. Select a cell with an enemy and press A. Ooh. Also, you can move more ground with a team jump. Uh, select a cell with an ally and press uh, or press A, okay. How about an epic combo? After you dash an enemy, perform a team jump with an ally. Interesting, I don't know how exactly I'm gonna execute that, but I could dash you like that, then come back around and team jump you for whatever reason. Uh, maybe it'll give me like extra points, but I could land maybe like right back on top of you. Will that work? It will not. I can't get up here either. Um, But I can land like in cover, that might be helpful. So let's see that, let's try that out for size, ready? Whoop. And then run back over here, bounce off of you and hide for literally no reason. Um, oh, and I can still shoot. That didn't work. <laughs> I should have read the values on the screen. That was actually really silly of me. Um, so I could go ahead, do that, bounce off of you, land. Oh, this is actually really good because if I land here, and I should be able to, actually I won't be able to. And I was gonna say maybe I could shoot this person, but from here I can't. They actually have full cover. But from here, I can shoot the both of these guys. So maybe I could do, uh, well, what if I did this? Yeah, okay, that's a good idea. So we're gonna go ahead and slide tackle you. That might actually even take you out. Okay, we are flying. <laughs> that was a cool move, I like that. But, um, oh yeah, you did get taken out. So now I can use my blaster and just yo-yo you straight in the face. How was that, buddy? So we could do a similar move here. The problem is that there's one more rabbit left, so I feel like I could have maybe comboed this stuff up a little bit better. I like this like, oh, could I jump off of you and jump off of you? Not quite. Hmm. Wish there was more I could do in this situation then. Interesting. Then what's my best bet? Cause I could just go here and, let's do that, ready? Alley-oop, nice. And then, like everybody on my team has full health except for Rabbit Luigi has two, 20 left health, 20 less health. Seems like on the left. If those values on the left are correct, which I think they're health, maybe there's something else. This is really interesting. I'm gonna guess that to, you know, these episodes are gonna be pretty long. I'll be trying to provide a decent amount of them though so that you guys can watch and enjoy them as much as possible. And we'll still be uploading other stuff as well. It's gonna be an exciting next couple months, especially if you're a fan of Nintendo Switch games. It's a hero's turn though. I like how the flags are like plastic bags, I think. I'm pretty sure that's what they are. So we could go ahead, do that, bounce off you for literally no reason. At this point, it's just because it's funny. Uh, and do that, there you go. Wee, boom. And then, bounce. I wish, like it doesn't seem like there's kind of any kind of like point system. I can't hit you from here though. Hold on, I tried. So maybe what I should try to do this time, I should just run up, oh I can't actually do that. So maybe I could instead, just, yeah. Ready, alley -oop. I wish I could land on them like that and do some extra damage, that'd be fun. And then just shoot you. Ready, bada bing, bada boom. And then finally we'll get, oh no, that was it. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say we're gonna get Rob Luigi and do the same thing for another time, but we get perfect again. So it seems like there's two things you need to focus on when getting a perfect, and that seems to be the turns. And then I'm gonna assume completing it without, hmm, how do I get over there? Uh, completing it without, Losing a teammate, I would imagine, is another big thing. I would think no damage, but no seemingly way that this fixed itself, right? Yep, it's still broken. 
So I'll have to come back. This is so much fun though, I'm enjoying myself. I can only imagine it's gonna get a lot more difficult and we'll see how much I enjoy myself then. But in the meantime, where does this pipe lead? Hopefully where I think it's gonna lead. Look at us rolling around in there, that's so cool. And the coolest thing about this game is that technically you can bring it on the go. You can unattach your switch from the dock. There we go. And you can bring it anywhere, on a plane, on a train, on a bus. Or you can make a fuss because your switch battery ran out. Something like that, a little rhyme for you. Hope you enjoyed it. So let's get over here and, and we'll do what we can. But yeah, I've been super excited for this game. This has been one of the most anticipated Switch games for me because it was something different. And that's really what I've been wanting Nintendo to do with the Switch. And they're definitely doing it. It's trying new things, trying different things. And obviously it's not just Nintendo trying it. Ubisoft made this game. We got Rapid Peach. What is that kind of stuff? Like, Did we unlock that character so that we can choose her in later missions? Something like that? I don't know, or maybe it's just some kind of weird, funny gallery that actually doesn't have any value in game. That could also be a case. I wouldn't be very happy with that one, but uh, hello. Defeat all, planned on it. Don't worry, I'm not gonna let a single rabbit leave this forest. It's time to pull together everything you've learned so far. Attack, movement, team jump, dash. Don't forget about Govern. You can also switch heroes anytime using L and R and between attack and move using Z and R. Do your best. So we get one attack and one move per game, it seems. Because I can attack right away and then maybe find some cover. That actually might be the smarter way to do this. So, oh, maybe. Because right now I have a 50% chance of hitting him. I don't really like those chances a ton. But what I could do is I could attack you, then use you to bounce over here where we have, hmm, I don't like how, Thought we were gonna have more cover, but not quite, because those guys are over there. Is there any cover we can use over here? Maybe this one would be the best case cover? And then from here, we should still be able to shoot them. So boom, hit you, bounce over here, and, and who can we shoot? I guess you, boom, right in the face, so good stuff. So now if I really wanna get this done, I should, can I? Slide attack two enemies, I can't. That'd be really cool if I could. Then I could hide here. Oh, here we go. So boom, does that take you out then? Oh, it, oh no, he has one health, that is so unfair. I'm gonna attack you. There you go, that's definitely gonna take you out because you had 20 health, that did 26 damage. Oh man, I can't believe he's back with like one health. And then maybe, hiding from, at this angle should be fine. And then who can I shoot? I can shoot the guy with 100 health. That might be, or 100% chance of hitting him, not 100 health. Boom, took you out. <laughs> Poor guy. And now I will go for you. Bada bing, bada boom. 33 damage, pretty good. I think that's the strongest attack we've had yet. The enemies can move now. Oh gosh, he's just gonna go right for Mario. I should have sort of expected that. And he hides right back for cover. Oh, oh, oh no, he destroyed some of it. Okay, so that's a thing. If somebody just decides to hide in a really good set of cover for too long, eventually they can just destroy it, but now there's a coin. Oh, okay, Beepo can just get it. That's pretty easy. Um, Maybe I could run over here, slide, and then get to an angle where I can hit him for 100, which is none of these. Okay, never mind, then I'll just do this so that I have an equal amount of guard. Boom, slide attack yet, and then hopefully hit you here, or maybe I could actually, oh, I got a better idea then. Finish you off, just like that. So here's the thing. If I play as, oh no. He can't reach no matter what right now. What about you? You can't reach either. So he might have made a couple mistakes here, and I think my best chance then is for you to run over here, and then maybe I could have set that up better. Maybe I could have set her up I don't know, if, if Rabbit Luigi could reach her, that'd be great. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter, we defeated them all. But I was gonna see maybe she could he could team jump off of her, get a little bit closer and get a more guaranteed shot. Doesn't matter, we got the win and some extra health. I don't know why, but cool, I'm not gonna complain. So, level two done, Flower Bud. And we get, once again, triple stars, so we get ourselves a golden trophy, a couple hundred extra coins, really cool stuff. I'm having so much fun, hey, Sunflower, how you doing? I like your shades. Mario, the creature with the headset got away, but I suppose you did clean up his mess. 
and being a plan of my word, looks like I owe you a reward. Ahem, <laughs> our good friends Rabbit Luigi and Rabbit Peach helped as well. Yeah, yeah, great. All right, I'm still developing voices for all the characters, but it'll happen. Oh, you spin out a coin. Hey, better than nothing, yay! Rude, rude, rude. Oh gosh, Rabbit Peach, she got a temper. Uh-oh, ooh, knocked out, yikes. Okay, okay, here. Um, what are you getting now on? Oh, here we go, a real prize. Nice, so what is this then? This is sunflower. I don't know what these things do, but I, I'm sort of really curious at this point. How do we get over there? And, hmm, actually, if we go back on the battlefield, there's stuff we can re-explore. I wonder, did I do that for the other one? Yeah, I had to run through it again anyways because I had to get to the cannon. So I did that there, so no need to worry. But how do I get across to all this? Right now I don't see a way. Oh wait, what is this? You have not learned how to do this yet. Push a box. We have not learned how to push a box. Well hopefully we can soon, that way we can go over there and figure that out. I'll try to play a little bit more, and then I think that'll wrap it up for today's episode. Do we have anything more? Just so you know, there are lots of things you can buy with coins. You've just gotta, you gotta find a place to spend them. Oh, okay. Thanks for the tip. I appreciate it. But let's go this way. This area is so beautiful. This game is so beautiful. I love it. There's a lot going on now. It looks like this way's a dead end, so I wanna, oh, I can't do this. I haven't learned how to do this. Okay, so I'm gonna have to figure that out. Don't know where or how, but We'll do it. So I wonder, will there be the typical eight Mario worlds? Will there be more, will there be less? I don't know how uniform this is gonna end up being. Hi! Mario, thank goodness you're here. Yours, yours is the first friendly face I've seen since the Mushroom Kingdom turned into this mess. So this is still the Mushroom Kingdom. Your timing couldn't be more perfect. I can't find to dead. All thanks to the changes caused by these old pipes our rabbit friends brought with, our rabbit friends brought with them into your world. You guys seem to know what you're doing, sort of. Could you f help me find her, please? Of course. Okay, but you're going to see firsthand how big of a pain these pipes are. Oh, mine. Let's go. Maybe, but hey, they look so cool. Uh, oh, be quiet. <laughs> I would lo Can we actually play as Toad, too? That'd be so cool if Toad could join our journey. Like, it would be cool if, like, there were just a ton of Mario characters that we could play with in our party. Like, imagine if, you know, uh, Wario shows up and we can play as Wario. Like, wouldn't that be cool? I think it would be cool. Everyone else is like, no, Zebra. It would be cool. You're a stinker butt. But, um, which way should we go? It looks like this way is actually gonna cycle us back. So let's try this way first. Okay, what is this blue cannon that I actually did not see? This is gonna. Oh, is this like a mini game? Oh, look at this. Three, two, one. Go, pick up the coins, pick up the coins, ready? Go, 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 go. I got 19 seconds to pick them up, so this is a mini game. Oh, this is so much fun. Oh man, I don't like how the time gets eaten up though when we're not even playing, like we're in the uh, pipes. So there we go, we did it. That's very Super Mario 3D World-like. You know how they have those little mini games there and the timer goes on and then you get a little prize and it's a fixed camera and usually they're not that easy. But hey, we got something. We got a turbine for Rabbit Luigi. Awesome, awesome stuff, and we are out of here, so keep an eye out for different colored cannons that might bring us to a mini game. Cool. So now let's head back here. Got some weird Tetramino blocks over there, and then some other kind of polygonal shapes. Where is this one gonna bring me? No matter where it brings me, I'm going to have to backtrack it to check out those boxes that we can push out of the way, which hopefully is something we can do soon. This is, can I change that back? I can't, but hey, look, it's the thing from the beginning, the little light flower. Okay, let's go. I wonder where, where it would have brought me if I just did it normally first. Maybe nowhere? Huh, I don't know. But hey, it's Toadette, how are you doing? We saved you. Hey, Toadette, I'm so glad you're okay. Oh, I'm fine. Who I'm really worried about is Princess Peach. Mario, can you go back to Peach's castle and make sure everything's all right? I, that was the plan. Certainly not, we need to find the, the, I forget his name already. Before, I can't believe they don't tell you his name because I'm gonna forget it. Another message. Congratulations on getting this far, a wise man once said. If I have three hours to chop a tree, I will spend two of them sharpening my ax. I urge you now to return to Princess Peach's castle and do just that. Prepare yourselves for the fight to come. 
Well, that's all well and good, but how? You may be wondering how. In the time it took you to read this email, I have updated your operating system. It now includes a new GPS warp mechanism I call Sploing. The name is a work in progress. Anyhow, simply activate it and you and your friends will return to Princess Peach's castle immediately. Signed, your biggest fan. Interesting. Um. Well, it, that's amazing if true. I suppose I should give it a, oh no, but there was still stuff to explore, no! I'm missing out on secrets that we couldn't, uh, I guess, access yet, so who knows. <laughs> so now here we are in, in what used to be Princess Peach's castle at the least. Oh, hey! Hi! Are you okay, Princess Peach? I, I guess <laughs> that's a weird run cycle, Marion. Uh, Mario, thank heavens you're all right. It's so good to see you. You've probably noticed this, but the Mushroom Kingdom's been torn apart. You have to do something, Mario. Oh, um, who are your new friends? Allow me, your highness. I am Beepo, an aut autonomously intelligent scientific research and operational assistant. I see, and, well, call this one Rabbit Luigi. And this this is Rabbit Peach. Uh-oh, drama. Er, uh, she, she's taking her cosplay a bit too seriously, I'm afraid. Huh. <laughs> oh no. Look at her head to toe. <laughs> that, uh, that is a little too drab for Rabbit Peach, I guess. Oh, what is he so excited about? Oh, it's a Mario Maker Rabbit. I guess. Get out of here. Yes, their friends are also quite uh, spirited, as you can see. It appears as if the rabbits we freed from the mega bug control have ended up here and no worse for wear either. So they're good now, not bad. That's right, they keep popping up and popping in just like you said, or just like you did. Okay, so what are they making? Whatever they want, I guess, how are we gonna stop them? Uh, they're not making it very well. Oh yes, they've been quite busy. I suggest you take a look at what they've built if, if you have it a chance. Um, is that what they built? I thought they built the other thing. I believe there's something called a Battle HQ? Oh, interesting. And then there's a museum. They love to collect souvenirs from the Mushroom Kingdom. Okay, come let us see for ourselves what your rabid cousins have been up to. Okay, so we have had quite the adventure in today's first episode. Tons of stuff going on. The rabbits have invaded Mushroom Kingdom. Things are being awkwardly combined. We have totally new gameplay for a Mario game and it is a lot of fun, but it seems like we got lots of learning to do. So hopefully we can learn some more of it in the next episode of Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. If you watched this point of video, make sure you comment Zebra Rabbit so now you've watched at the end of the video and you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. If you enjoyed today's episode and you wanna see more like it, feel free to click on any of the ones on your screen right now or subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.